Hi, I am Abu Rawash from Egypt and I am very happy to share this video with you. I will show you today how to paint this object, uh, how to create the rough details, how to create this cracks on the stone. I really love the rough surfaces and the hist historical details uh, and it's a part of my childhood, it's a part of my study, it's a part of my um, work as an architect and it's a part of me, really I, it's very rich, it's uh, even in one color, even, it's not one color, I will show you how to create it, uh, but even with this result of monocolor, I use this pure squirrel brush to lay down the first layer on it if I like to uh, fade it out I used also this extended point uh, brush to give the second layer details here uh, then I use this small it's four uh, zero brush to give the cracks. I used also uh, this rough brush to give a rough effect on dry as also a basic tone. Here, rocks depend on layers. This depend on how to lay layers to create the uh, hard edges. How to fade it and how to leave it with the hard edge is the main technique. Uh, I used the sepia. I used uh, burnt sienna with violet, yellow ochre, or gold ochre, white oxide red or Indian red, and mix it with ultramarine. On this area as a basic tone or this area I will show you how to create the second layer always I start with the shade to create the light I'm using here see here can leave some areas without fading it out here. You can mix some little oak. Here I am feeling this area because in this uh, side I like to make all the object will be faded out. even the dark areas.
you should know uh, the source of light here the light is uh, from right look how I vibrate my hand like this to make some rough details then I fill it out here by adding a wet clean Sometimes I use this technique to give some dots. On wet or in dry. Like this. We'll fit some and keep some. Like that. If I want to give uh, a depth of uh, void area, I will give more darker. Color like this. I will fit some edges mix some different colors I will start to use a small brush to give small spots.
make this more darker by adding black or uh, sepia. trying to make this one color rich with another shades another colors by mixing like that here it's uh, edge between the darker surface and the light surface it's two faces like this so this should have a white edge as be the object like this I'm trying to fade the tone If you have uh, uh, two surfaces, you should care about the edge between the dark surface and the uh, light surface. Now I give more darker dots and strokes. The lighter layer. This, the surface is light, but maybe it have grooves or dark. So I add some dark. And also give some ochre tone here. This means this area uh, is in shade, but not full shade. There is light, so it's not very dark. Like that. I will not keep the line between two surfaces uh, uh, the same tone of uh, white tone. No, sometimes I give here touches like this with light, very light tone of ochre here or depending on the mix of this. Uh, okay. 
I will use more darker tone here to make the deep cracks. Look, here it will be more um, linear. <coughs> 